Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our back. Yes, of course, with a little bit of calf work for my own good. The first thing which we are going to do is dynamic stretching. It only takes, I have realized the more number of times I do it on a regular basis, the more efficient I become in performing the act or the stretch. I would not call it a stretch because sometimes people have the misconception of holding it for more than 10 seconds. It's a dynamic movement. We are just going through the flow. We're just making sure we have good mobility. So I only take three to four minutes of the entire movement, which is the greatest stretch for four to five repetitions on each side and sit in a deep squat for at least 10 seconds. That's more than sufficient and move on from that to the bird dog pose just to strengthen my core or at least add a little bit of core strengthening it doesn't make a much difference because there is not much of work happening in just doing four to five repetitions each side i'm just doing it consistently on a regular basis to keep sure that or make it make sure that my glutes my core my abdominal muscles my lower back muscles all work properly and i'm able to you know have the good mind muscle connection before i start lifting heavy weights now for the first exercise we are going to do the regular t-bar rows so you can do this chest supported also absolutely fine if you prefer to if you're for any reason or unable to do these or you don't have such a similar kind of setup you can do a regular chest supported rows that's absolutely fine now I have done four sets of these, 15 repetitions each set. Try to go to failure as much as possible. By failure, I mean unable to perform a repetition without compromising my posture or shifting loads onto my lower back unnecessarily. Right now, the way I am positioned, all the load is coming onto my lats and some onto my glutes because my glutes are trying really hard to keep me in this particular position while the weight is trying to pull me out the glutes are trying to keep me straight up before rolling forward now as you can see i prefer to use the smaller plates just because i get a little bit of extra depth because if i use a bigger plate i touch the ground very easily and i don't get the stretch that's the only reason i use smaller plates load as much as possible and perform the reps with those Post completing those, I moved on to a close grip lat pull down. I'm using this, uh, I think it's called a military press bench because it's on this particular bench, it's easy to perform military press. I'm not sure, but it's basically a half back support bench. So I'm sitting chest facing the back of the bench. So it basically stops me from leaning way forward so I can control my repetitions. And from there, I start pulling back did it make a difference a lot yes because i'm doing it on a cable crossover machine the setup helped me in terms of focusing more on my lat pulls and not worrying much about how i sit or how i move so if you have a regular lat pull down i think you should be fine or a regular uh, seated rowing machine you should be able to execute this pretty easily for me it's a i would say makeshift setup so it took that particular way to perform it after completing those, I moved on to calf press, three sets, as many repetitions as possible to improve my calf muscles. Two options, you may choose to do this. And when you choose to do that, you have multiple options. You can do it standing, seated, donkey, whichever way you prefer to do, you can go ahead and do it. Second option is you can totally skip this part. It's not compulsory if you already have great calf muscles, but it never hurts. In my program, I usually put calf muscles work on regular basis and skip it on my leg days. On the leg days, I mostly focus on the bigger muscle groups like my quads, hamstring, glutes, since I'm working my calves on a regular basis. So yes, that's an option. The breaks in between could be very short and also from, you're moving from the main muscle group of the day to calf exercise. Also, you don't need to take a much of a break. You can shift to it immediately. So not of a much, not much of a time consumption exercise. Once done with those, I started doing my core work. So I chose to do ab roller. And as you can see, the reason why I position my legs behind the bar in such a manner is because these bars 
give me that physical feedback of not taking my hips way back so i'm not cheating on my reps in fact i have to crunch at my abdominal region once my hips get into a straight line to get that crunch in my abdomen and then stretch out completely forward so that is the only reason which i prefer to put my legs under this bar because the moment i try to take my hips way more further back the bar touches my bum and i know okay i'm cheating the rep i need to crunch at my abdomen not my hips so this is one way for you to try or this is one way which i prefer to do i have done three sets of this as many repetitions as possible and god this were good so in future you would see me doing this more often great way to stretch out that core muscle and finish off our core workout once done with those i moved on to pull ups i have done three sets neutral grip as many repetitions as possible i was managing to get around 6 to 8 repetitions and i was taking a break of around 30 to 45 seconds so yes that's all i could do it and we are pretty much done with our exercise routine that's it for today i hope you liked the workout if you did please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe i finished off with a simple vertical hang to stretch out my lats just create some decompression you can also do other kind of back stretches it's not necessary you need to do a vertical hang it's just that when you do a vertical hang you're also training your forearms for endurance so yes one minute hang good way to stretch out your back and also train your forearms so yes that's it thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you in the next video till then take care have a good day